Hello guys, my hair is everywhere today, um, it's kind of cold outside, I've been wearing a hat, thank god for hats, but uh, what I want to do with this is tell you about a story that I went through, and uh, there is a Bible verse that says that you need to that you should set your things on, set your, set your heart on things that are in the heavens, where God dwells at, and where he does his work and awesomeness, and not to set your heart on the things that are here on this earth. I'm going to give you a 3D example of that. Um, that's that's our natural what we see with our eyes and stuff it's our 3d world okay spiritual people understand that there is more than a 3d 3d world that we engage 3d realm i should say um but here goes i'm gonna explain to you about this plant and uh my old love for drawing. I still like to draw every now and then I do it. It's pretty cool. It's fun. I like it. It's cool. It's art. But anyway, check this out. I was um, sitting at my house one day and I was uh, drawing this plant. And, you know, like a still, like a still. I don't know what you call it. You used to call it a still. A still picture or something. Still. Like a still. Like, uh, you just draw it. Because it's, it's, I mean, it's hanging on the ceiling. Okay. It's one of those flowers that drape down. It's, 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 it's green. It's got the hearts on it and stuff like that. But, I mean, it just drapes down, you know. Um, and this plant hadn't grown for a long time. I mean, it, I mean, it was alive and everything. And it was doing its thing. And it was staying alive. It was getting watered and all this. But I spent like probably two hours of my time uh, engaged with um, with this plant and me drawing it. Okay, you got to understand that I'm engaged. I'm engaged with this plant and I'm drawing it. I'm trying to be as precise as possible with this plant. Okay, you guys can. I want you to understand that this is not about the plant and me. It's about setting your heart on things and watching things transform, okay? What I did is I drew this, I drew this plant. So I just got out some paper, you know, I sat down and I, I drew this plant. It took about two hours. And um, it was beautiful, it was a beautiful plant. And I did a really good job. I was really impressed with myself and I showed some friends and stuff like that. But... What I didn't know at the time is that the plant had received my affection towards it. It had received it. It had it had taken <clears throat> it had taken my um my care for it and my ways that I wanted to draw it and how I was being precise with it and how I was uh just letting myself flow with the plant through you got to understand through my eyes going back into my brain, coming out into my hand, and going onto this paper, and I drew this plant, okay? Okay, now you understand the, the, the physics of the situation that was at hand, right? <clears throat> so, I came back like a day later, and I, I, I was just, you know, I was walking around and everything, and just, you know, doing my thing, I guess. I turned around and I looked at the plant. And the plant was like, it had grown. It had grown to a point where I hadn't seen it grown so much before. And, I mean, it was dra it was draping down, guys. I mean, it was it had grown overnight. Overnight. It had grown like it had been watered with, 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 God's water. I mean, like, 
it, it had been, it had grown, like it had, had had some living water applied to it or something. Like it, it, it just got really big. It was really cool, guys. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down the mechanics of that. And remember how I said that um, we're supposed to set our, our heart on the things above, not on the things on this earth. Okay? I'm going to go through a little bit of the mechanics. Okay? What happened was I decided I made an agreement with the plant, technically. I made an agreement with the plant. I said to myself, I'm going to draw that plant. And I sat down. And I, I, I uh, sat down, got my pencil out, which is another tool of agreement. And I got my paper, which is another tool of agreement, furthering the, the creativity that is going to go in to the drawing of this plant. So I sat down. I looked at it with my eyes. And... I would slowly come back to the paper and I would just like look at look at that and look at the paper and see how it was aligned with me and see how it was coming at me and I would draw on the paper that exact specific point where maybe the the um the plant was like draping down and I would I would connect that perfectly guys this is the mechanics of the situation this is giving this is looking at the detail of the object that I'm trying to put down on paper. Okay, I'm trying to put this down on paper because I, I, I felt an attraction. It was an attraction of mine. So I, I got my creative side out and I just started drawing. And, and what this does is, is it can point you this is how everyday life, this is how um, when the Bible says that pray always, this is, this, is, this, is, this is what that means. It means like knowing that everything has to do with God, okay? Everything has to do with the spiritual realm, all right? So what I did is I engaged myself into the ways of the plant, okay? That's what happened. I engaged myself in, in, in the physical structure of that plant. And I brought it down to 2D on the piece of paper. Okay? To 2D. We got to think about realms here. We got to think about 2D. We got to think about 3D. And we got to think about 4D. Okay? 4D being the spiritual realm. Alright? So I engaged in, in, in the... Uh, I guess it was it's kind of a covenant it was kind of a covenant it was like I'm going to do this and I'm gonna make it something on a 2d level okay this is the mechanics this is where faith comes in to play like if if you are praying for something and you have the faith it's it's gonna happen I mean and it lines up with the accordance of the Word of God it's 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 going to make things happen guys this plant grew. I've told you before that everything that happens in this physical realm is first manifested in a spiritual realm. Okay? When we pray, or when we set our, our, our attention and our hearts on the things that are above, we are going to be able to move things and make things grow in this 3D realm. Okay? This is what God was talking about when um, rivers of living water will flow out from your belly and be poured. And, and it goes on if you continue to read the Bible in different spots and stuff like that and you rightly divide the Word of God the way that you're supposed to. It goes into um, other people's hearts and it fills up their heart and they understand. That's what preaching and sermons and stuff like that is for. It's for your edification in the church, in the body of Christ. Um, I hope 
that I could give you a good perspective of the 3D world and the 2D world that we that we live in and see on a regular basis and um into the 4D and 3D world that we live in okay um engage it engage it that's all you have to do you have to agree with it we've already made a covenant with God we already know that Everything has been given unto him, and he triumphed over all powers when on the cross. And um, stuff is awesome, guys. This brings into the aspect of being able to heal through the power of the Holy Spirit, through God, casting out demons. Guys, this just brings a humongous light to the idea that when you set your attention on your spiritual person knowing that he can travel back and forth we can in the old testament the levites went into the tabernacle we don't have to do that anymore we go straight to god before they went in before the mercy seat and did their thing right we can do that now like when we Pray, you know, just know that you're having a conversation with God and Jesus Christ. Know that you're there. Know that you are talking to the Creator. And know that He has given you the uh, power to be able to triumph over wickedness in heavenly places and to be able to heal others from certain ailments and stuff like that and there's so many things there's so many things there's olive oil there's the oil of anointing i mean the reason why olive oil is used in deliverance and stuff like that is 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 because jesus manifested jesus manifest you, know, you remember the uh, olive branch you remember him talking about the olive branch that manifested in through the the, the spiritual realm into the physical realm to let you know and it grew it's what happened what happened is it grew it grew into the physical realm so that we can know how to use specific things to our advantage when advancing the kingdom of god okay i mean guys this stuff is amazing it's amazing when you get into kingdom thinking and advancing king the god's kingdom um your whole perspective on everything will change. I mean, it's not about just running around saying repent, repent, repent. Because you're you're actually supposed to know how to get somebody to repent. And sometimes well, some people don't just won't repent. But I mean, if say you don't say you're not able to do it, but somebody else comes along to that same person, they're able to do it and you get upset because you weren't able to do it. That's nothing that you get upset about in the first place. But it just goes to show that everybody has has a different position in the kingdom, okay? And some people can do things better than other people. And what God wants you to do is to seek after these spiritual gifts that we all have. And to try to embrace them and gather... When you asked God for wisdom, He gave it to you, didn't He? Think about that, because you know you did. If you read that passage in James... And you asked him for wisdom. He gave it to you. He gave it to you. He gave it to me. Guys. We can do a lot of good things here on earth. We can do a lot of good things here on earth. I pray that you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you know how to use. And act. In the way of the spirit. I hope I helped you out and have been a little uh, example from 2D and 3D realm, okay? I hope that works out for you guys. God bless.